Today, I'll be proving the following algebra question. If a plus b squared plus b plus c squared plus c plus d all squared is equal to 4 times ab plus bc plus cd, then we'll have to prove that a, b, c, d are all equal to each other. Okay, so I'll start by having a look at the left hand side. What we can do is expand out each of these a plus b squareds and b plus c squareds and c plus c, c plus d squared. So if you expand each of these out, the expansion of a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and b plus c squared is b squared plus 2bc plus c squared and c plus d squared is c squared plus 2cd plus d squared. And the right hand side, we can also expand it out, so 4ab plus 4bc plus 4cd. And now I'll bring the entire equation, the entire right hand side over to the left hand side. So what will happen is we have 2ab here and 4ab here. So when you minus 4ab, you'll have minus 2ab here and plus b squared. And now 2bc minus 4bc is negative 2bc. Now we have c squared. And here 2cd minus 4cd is minus 2cd. And finally we have plus d squared. Okay. Okay, in fact there should be a there should be a b squared in between here as well, so there should be a b squared here. Okay. Now if we have a look at a squared minus two ab plus b squared, we can see and we can factorize it as a minus b all squared. And also we have b squared minus 2bc plus c squared here and we can also factorize this as b minus c squared. Okay, there should also be a plus, should be a plus c squared here as well from over here. Now if we have a look at c squared plus d squared minus 2cd, this can be factorized as c minus d squared. Okay, and also the right hand side of this equation is equal to zero, so the right hand side is equal to zero here. So now we have the sum of three squares of numbers is equal to zero, so a minus b squared plus b minus c squared plus c minus d squared is equal to zero. However, we can recall that if we square a real number it's always non-negative and so it's at least zero. So we're adding three numbers that are non-negative and the only way for the sum of three non-negative numbers to be zero is if all three of them are zero. So it means we need all three of these numbers a minus b squared and b minus c squared and c minus d squared to all be equal to zero. And the only way for the square of something to be zero is if the number itself is zero, which means a minus b has to be zero, b minus c has to be zero, and c minus d has to be zero. This means a must equal b here, b must equal c here, and c must equal d here. And using these statements, this will give us a is equal to b, which is equal to c, which is equal to d. And a, a equals b equals c equals d is what we had to prove originally. So we've successfully proven that a equals b equals c equals d. That concludes the proof. Okay, so hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.